Well, I did want to make a video of my shallow well drilling, but it started raining when I was out here doing it, getting prepped. So I just had to do it and couldn't set up the camera anywhere that wouldn't get wet. So what I did was I have a three inch pipe casing and that casing is 14 feet into the ground. There's still a foot above grade and that piece of pipe was 15 feet long. And the way I'd done that was I made me a cutting head out of a galvanized coupling and I screwed it to a male two inch male adapter and then you'll notice right here I put a set screw in it so it could not unscrew and come off. I glued the white two inch pipe onto that male adapter and if you noticed the other day I did have that pipe about four feet in the ground and that's the two sections of pipe right there that's uh, one piece was about eight feet and then the other piece is about six feet long seven seven feet long and what I did was I took this pipe here and hooked this head that you can either you can make these or you can buy them I bought this from Home Depot and you just take that you don't glue this on you just push that on your two inch pipe which I did right here on this piece section first and then you drill it and put your hose on each side of it and then turn the hose on the water will start gushing up out of this three inch pipe and as you turn this back and forth by hand um, just by hanging on to it it cuts itself right into that sand quite easily and it blows it up out of that three inch pipe and as soon as that piece got a little long I took the head off added some more two inch pipe and put the head back on it you can see I did it here I did it right here and then right there that's 15 feet long and I washed that all the way down I would stop every so often and pull it out and then take a big sledge this one right here 20 pound sledge and just tap on the top of that three inch pipe until it would quit going and then drop the two inch back down in there turn it back on and keep washing it down until I got down to almost 15 feet deep and tap that pipe in as far as I wanted it to go then I added the rest of this pipe which is another eight feet on the end of that and I washed that down inside that three inch pipe until it was all the way to the bottom so this well is about 22 feet deep and I actually hit rock that that was not going any farther I hit lime rock down there at 22 feet I let it run for a while until it cleaned out a lot of the sand and um, my son came out and helped me get that one out because once you get it in there that long, well, you got a you got a 22 foot piece of pipe. We had to stand up out of the ground, take hoses off of it, and start pulling it out. Pulled it all the way out. Screwed our inch and a quarter pipe. It's inch and a quarter galvanized, which I put on the bottom. It has this right here, foot valve, inch and a quarter foot valve. That helps you keep your prime and um, kind of filters the stuff out, keeps rocks from getting up into your pump. It lets the sand through though. Put that on there with some pipe dope. Dropped it all the way down in there until it's actually, this thing is actually touching the rock right now, the bottom of that foot valve is. I put a T in here with a cap. I'm going to put an electric pump on there. And then I screwed my pitcher pump on the top of it. And Make sure everything is sealed up good and tight. We got water. Now, I'm going to hook that electric pump up to it. And let it pump and pump pump. It'll clean all this water out. It's not cleaned out yet. It's going to take a lot of pumping. Got plenty of water. Sit there and do that until your arm hurts. As long as you leave the pump handle down, it'll keep its prime, which I don't think it'll lose its prime anyway. 
But yeah, there it is. It's still loose inside. You can still turn it. And that pipe is 22 feet in the ground almost. Way on down there. All right, guys. Sorry I didn't get to show you the process. It was fun. It was wet. Sandy, dirty. But got it done. Next step will be get the pump on here, get it running, get some water going out of this thing, clean it out, and uh, see how clean this water is. See if you can drink it. I ain't drinking none yet. No way. I don't know what's down there. All right, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys. Looky here. Went and got my pump. Plumbed it in like I said I was going to where that key's at. Check that out. All the water you need, right there. Look at that. It's been pumping for almost 45 minutes now. Fills that five gallon bucket up in um, about 40 seconds. I think I'll shut it off now. It's run long enough. Little pump from Lowe's. That was that was just over two hundred dollars. That little pump. Yep. I think we're good. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, there's the garden. Look at that kale growing. Man, that is growing some fast. I'm gonna start eating some kale. Squash are getting huge. Some tomatoes, look at them things. All these tomatoes, some lettuce, onions. Got some beets going on in there. No sign. Yep. Tomatoes all the way down this fence row here. I think I got about 35 in total. All different varieties. Did finish off the well. Put the cap on top of it. That way it's sealed up around. Nothing can fall in and get around the edge of the suction pipe there. But yeah, it works real good. Does everything I want. And I did check with the county. You need to, before you drill a well, of any type, whether it's jetted in, hammered in, rotary drilled, 10 feet deep or 500 feet deep, you need to check with your county building department and uh, see if you need a permit, which I did. And uh, the health department is what handles this uh, area. But so got that taken care of and got it all done. My water is going to be a whole lot cheaper and a lot better for my plants than city water, county water. Snap peas in. Ah. Talk to you later.